happening, everybody? It's Tracy Brown back again with more information for our 30 for 30 March Madness Financial Challenge. What's the challenge? Well, we're going to help 30 families over the next 30 days start their journey to financial freedom and flexibility. Now, I'm very, very excited, right? This is video number seven. Now, I don't have time to recap videos one through six, so go to my YouTube channel and subscribe if you want some of this free financial education that multi multi millionaires are teaching us. Now, here's the reality. Video number seven is very, very important because we talk because it's the first video we talked about solutions, right? Before we talked about what was holding you back, we talked about the four challenges. Now it's time to talk about solutions so we can move forward and make your financial dream a reality. Here's the key word of today, cash flow. The key word again is cash flow. See, most people in America think they have an income problem, but you don't have an income problem, you have a cash flow problem. Write this down real quick. Income is measured in dollars, cash flow is measured in time. Let me say that again. Income is measured in dollars, cash flow is measured in time. Cash flow is actually more important than income. You can have a great deal of income, but have a negative cash flow. Let me prove it to you. Let's say I'm a multi, multi millionaire, and let's say um, I have $1 million of income coming in per year, but have $2 million of expenses. Now again, cash flow is measured in time. So guess what my cash flow is? My cash flow is only six months. See, my income is sky high, but because of my lifestyle, because of the yachts, because of the mansions, because of the condos, and because of the super exotic cars, or whatever else people with negative cash flow spend their money on, because of those things, you can't survive very long, right? So your cash flow is only six months. Even though you are a multi-millionaire, you still have a negative cash flow cycle. Now let's take a person that make, makes $80,000 a year. Income is not near as high, but their expenses is only $40,000 a year. Guess what their cash flow is? It's two years. They can go for a whole year and spend $40,000 and go another year and spend another, another $40,000. And guess what? They haven't even worked or increased their income because their cash flow was positive. See, in this country, guys, you got two types of cash flow. You either cash flow positive or you cash flow negative. And once you understand that the lack of money costs you more money, you will fix your negative cash flow. And once you understand in this country that the abundance of money saves you money, you will head towards positive cash flow. Listen, banks made five billion dollars. That's a billion with a B on the backs of individuals who had negative cash flow. What do that mean? Well, insignificant fees last year alone from the big three, Chase, Wells Fargo, and Bank of America cost American, American five billion dollars. That means wealthy people created five billion more dollars in asset on the back of people who didn't have enough money in their checking account and charged them even more money. Until you learn that in this country, your cash flow is keen and you have to make it positive by minimizing three things, your taxes, your debt, and your expenses. See, when the taxes, debt, and your expenses goes down, cash flow automatically goes up. So do me a favor, we're gonna show you guys how to get a positive cash flow cycle, right? So to speed things up, like this video, share this video, and comment below keyword cash flow. If you comment the keyword cash flow, we'll show you guys how to go from negative to positive cash flow. Or if you're already positive, we'll show you how to become more cash flow positive. So like this video, share this video, and comment below keyword cash flow. And I promise to share with you, share with you some of the secrets and rules of the wealthy that we were never taught in school. And remember, empty pockets never held anyone back. Only empty minds and empty hearts can do that. And I always tell people, it's okay for your pockets to be broke as long as your mind makes sense. Hustle and motivate. Peace.